Hey guys, it is Josh here. In this video, we're going to be talking about, we're going to do a very, very basic video about checking a domain name for spam. So, this isn't advanced by any means, but if you're new to checking expired domain names for spam, this will help. Um, if you're doing domain research for me, if I just hired you to check through all my domain names, um, you're going to follow these instructions. So, what you're going to do, we're going to use two free tools. We're going to stick to free tools, you can access them quite easily. First, go to Google and just type in Moz OSC. Go to the first result there. And Moz is a free tool to check backlink profiles. If you haven't heard of it, I'm sure you have. Um, and then just go ahead and sign up for a free account and you'll get to this page here. So the domain name we're going to check is, is this domain here. I just pasted it in. A uh, decent domain name, right? Domain Authority 37. Um, and then once you get to this page, it's only going to show you a small selection or no links. You have to click the target and then click this root domain. And then it'll show you more domain names, or not do more domain names, it'll show you, sorry, more more backlinks. So you see the first two, they look good. Mashable, a couple editorial links. But what we're going to be looking for here is, in each row, there's the anchor. The anchor text is over here. And then over here is the title of the page, and this is the URL of the page. And this is the URL that of ours that it's linking to. So we're going to be checking both um, here, here for things for words that are spammy. Now in SEO, words that are spammy is anything that's Russian or Chinese that's not a direct translation of our domain, which usually it's not. Um, and then if it's if it's English, we check for spammy uh, words that are unrelated to the niche or industry of our domain name. Um, common spam niches involve uh, things like Viagra, C Cialis, uh, any sort of big pharma drug. Um, what else is there? Anything that's like designer, replicas, Gucci handbags, things like that are totally unrelated. Um, so let's go through here. The We noticed the 2007 backlink from Mashable has to do with WordPress. Okay, so let's go down. So we're going to be no, we're going to be working with things that are web related. Okay, so I found this one, this page here. I see some Russian words, so this is something to investigate. Open up the that in a tab. It's linking to a bunch of websites. Okay, my Google Translate just turned on uh, Show Original. Okay, this seems legit. This is a legitimate Russian page, so we're gonna keep going through. Um, it's just a, it's a technical uh, resource page, so that's fine. Good example of a Russian page that is not spam, because usually Russian pages are, are do contain spam. Here's here's one here. Chinese. Open this up. WordPress, same thing. Looks uh, looks very relevant. Okay, we're going to keep going. These are okay. We'll go down. There's some more. Let's check a couple more. We'll check this one. And this one. Open them up in tabs. This one's open in. This one was done in 2007. We're looking for basically a domain name that we're basically looking for a Chinese website or a Russian website that registered our domain name after the original owner. And if this page was 2007 right here, that's probably legit because it wasn't expired uh, back then. It was the original owner. And this one's a bunch of resources too. It's relevant. Okay, so we're going to assume that the backlink profile is okay. There's a couple Chinese and a couple Russian links that we had to investigate, but they checked out and they were legitimate uh, translations. So let's move on to the second part. So go over to Google and just type in, type in, you can type in the Wayback Machine or type in archive.org forward slash web and hop over here and then paste the domain name in question in the search bar here. Now each black vertical line. The taller the line, the more it's been indexed around that date. So you can generally tell when the activity of the website was 
high or when it was changing. So each crawl is, is a little black dot. It was crawled once here, once here, once here, twice here, once here, once here, once here. So back here doesn't really matter because we can clearly see this is the biggest clump of black. So this is when the website initially existed. Now this might be when the web website dropped. Um, so there could be something there. So if we click that. Now archive.org is very slow to load, so it may take some time with some of your uh, some of your queries. Performance-based marketing web service. Okay, we're gonna call this safe. It's just uh, uh, it's linking to some sites here. Eco tourism hosting. Fishy. I'm not sure what to think of that. It could be. I see a web service, so it could have been a web design company that took down the website and asked for these guys to pay. But from these outbound links here, it looks like it was used as some sort of link directory or link page here. But let's fast forward. You can just click. You can hover over each black dot. Click it. We'll fast forward. Usually, some pages show errors. 302 errors or internal errors, it says something like that. And like I said, very, very slow to load. It is a free resource. So lots of people are using it. Okay, that page didn't load, but let's go to something more recent, 2015. And there we go. So we have an a, a Chinese page here. Um, let's go ahead, just for the heck of it, let's just copy that. And let's hop over to Google. Recommended home soccer scores. Don't really know what that means, but it sounds commercial. Recommended um, as a title of a website. <clears throat> let's close this. And if you get the Google Translator, oh, there it is right there. Both. You can get the extension or you can. Google Chrome will translate for you. Hit translate, let's see if it goes. Home soccer scores, football scores, live scores. Yeah, so this could be some sort of live stream promotion. Soccer scores, yeah, it's totally unrelated uh, to the initial website, which remember we said was WordPress. It was based around WordPress articles. So this is spammed. So although the backlink profile seemed okay at our first glance, I would do a second pass that would actually analyze uh, every anchor to make sure it's good. Um, but we said that this passed, and we went through all 45 that Moz showed, and then we, had, we headed over to Wayback, and then we saw recently this was used uh, by the Chinese uh, to promote some sort of soccer, football scores website, something like that. Anyways, it's completely irrelevant. Uh, so we would we would label this a spam domain name and we would not use it. Um, I want to add also on top of Moz, Moz doesn't have the biggest database of backlinks, but there is uh, uh, Majestic, Majestic.com. You can sign up there. Uh, that does cost money as their as their free trial plan only lets you just do a couple searches. Moz lets you do a whole bunch if you're logged in. Anyways, that's been everything I want to talk about. Uh, it's been pretty basic too. I don't want to get too complex here, but hopefully I can I can use this video, uh, show a couple people that are working for me how to find domain names that are not spammed. Anyways, thumbs up and thanks for watching.